one. Okay. okay, so there's two ways to use photo gates. Really, photo gates are just expensive, what? Stopwatches, timers, that's all they are, okay? <coughs> but we can use them to get velocity, okay, things like that. All right, so first of all, you hook the photo gates into the top of the lab quest, not the side. All right, these, these pieces won't fit into the side ports. Okay, then it tells you if they're working. So if you put your finger there, it should block it. If you put your finger there, okay, the gates are working. All right, so the first way to do this is to take your two gates and set them apart. Okay, so you put one at the beginning of your ramp where V initial is zero. zero, okay? Then you'd put one at the end of your ramp, thus timing the entire slide, okay? That's the first way to do it. If you're gonna do it that way, you're going to go into mode right here, and you have to set these up. If you don't do this step, nothing will work, okay? Then, um, photo gate timing, okay, that's all good. We want to go to pulse. Okay, now we tell it how far the gates are apart. How far apart do you think that is? Let's say 10 centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this, and we're gonna say mm, 0.1 meters, done. Okay, and we're all set up. So now we hit okay. And then from this screen, people always get confused on where to go. We don't really care about the graph when we're dealing with photo gates. When we're using the motion detectors, that's where we're doing graphs, and some of you are using those tomorrow. Okay, so you wanna go to your X, Y table instead. Then you're gonna hit play. After you hit play, it will start timing, um, I think when the first gate is broken, but let's check. Okay, so here's, I changed it from wooden blocks to metal pucks, so you guys are gonna take one of these masses all right, and we're gonna go like that, and then like that, okay, and you see a bunch of data pops up. Okay, now what time do we use? Okay, well this, the time started, and then I guess we could hit stop too. Okay, and you see when I blocked the gate again, it recorded that 14 seconds later. So, we probably want to go from blocked to blocked. Okay, that would be the time. So if I go blocked at zero and then it was blocked again at 2.18046, took me about two seconds to go from here to here. Okay, now since we told it how far apart these gates are, it will give us a velocity right here. But don't trust it, okay? Calculate it on your own too to make sure this is correct. All right, don't just trust what this thing says. Check the math on your own. That's the first way to do it. Okay, but that velocity is not even what we need because that velocity is average, yes. We want the velocity at the bottom. Okay, but what we can do is use this time and your kinematic equations to figure out V final. Okay, and that's a really good way to do this lab. All right, yep. Um, why wouldn't you do from unblocked to block? from unblocked, because then I'm timing, I want to time the front edge of this and then the front edge again. Okay, I don't want to time the back edge of this and then the front edge of this, because then I'm leaving out this little distance. But I could go from unblocked to unblocked, but that wouldn't be very good either, because then it's been sliding for a little bit already. Okay, so to do this method, you have to start at sliding right at the gate, very, very close to the gate. Okay, other method, you unplug a photo gate. All right, and you take one out completely. Okay, so this one's gone. <coughs> and to do this with just one photo gate, you are going to go back to the setup screen, which is the instrument icon right there. And you notice this one's offline. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to mode, and instead of pulse, I want a gate time. Okay, now this will time how long your little metal puck blocks the gate. Okay, so for distance, notice it says length of object this time. So let's say that's mm, three centimeters. 
okay, 0.03 meters, done, okay, you can discard the old data, and then we'll go back to our XY table, if I hit play and stop, it'll, it'll clear out all the data, <coughs> okay, so I'm going to hit play, and this time, I'll just use my finger, it will time how long this thing is blocked for, okay, so it blocked at zero seconds and then it unblocked so it was blocked for 1.74 seconds and then it gives me a speed over again don't trust this speed make sure you check it on your own okay now where would I want to put this gate if I'm going to use this method bottom. that's going to be at the bottom of the ramp and you're going to let it slide through okay so just do the experiment like one time slide it through call it good yes. does that sound good that's cool one time's cool right when we do science no, lots of reps, okay, till you see consistency. Now, we do always have time constraints, okay? Make sure you get lots of data. All right, so those are the two ways to use photo gates.